Hey guys, this is Malinki. Welcome back to my channel, Voice of Malinki. Today we will talk about correlation coefficient. And if you are new in my channel, please subscribe my channel. And if you like my video, please do like, comment, and share my video. So in the last lecture, we have talked about correlation. So if you didn't go through that lecture, I would highly recommend you to have a look on that since today's lecture is the continuation part of the last lecture. So link is in the description box. So in the last lecture, we have performed an experiment where we have made a fertilizer and we applied it to an apple tree to find its effect on the number as well as the size of fruits. So the sample is fruit here and uh, two characters or you can say variables, two variables are number of fruits say x and size of fruits say y. And the aim of our experiment was to find the relationship between these above two characters. That means whether any kind of correlation exists between these two variables. Now let's define correlation coefficient. When the two characters have any kind of relationship, then the degree of relationship between these two characters is called correlation coefficient. What does that mean? That means any kind of relationship between two characters can be expressed quantitatively by the correlation coefficient. Expressed quantitatively. So correlation coefficient is designated by letter R, small r. It is also called Carl Pearson's coefficient of correlation. Now correlation coefficient values lies between minus 1 and plus 1. So in the last lecture, uh, we have talked about different types of correlation briefly there are three types of correlation positive negative and zero positive correlation is of two types perfect positive and moderately positive negative correlation is of two types perfect negative and moderately negative if r is equal to plus one the correlation is perfect positive if it is less than plus 1 but more than 0 that means it is between 0.1 to 0.9 then it is moderately positive. If r is equal to minus 1 then it is perfect negative. If r is equal to more than minus 1 but less than 0 that means it is between minus 0.1 to minus 0.9 then the correlation is moderately negative. If the value of r is equal to 0 that means no correlation exists between two characters. So after our experiments we want to calculate the correlation coefficient between two variables. Now in our case first variable is number of fruits that is x and second variable is size of fruits that is y. So y could have any unit centimeter, millimeter etc doesn't matter here. So we have taken the data five times. That means from five trees we have taken the data. So from the first tree we got two fruits who have size 1. So like that, second tree, third tree, fourth tree and 
fifth tree. Now, please look at this chart. So here we have put values of X and Y in these two columns. And here in this column, we just put X, Y, that is the product of X and Y. Here in this column, just put x square and in this column just put y square. Now just add all the values of each column like that. So here it is summation of x, summation of y, summation of xy, summation of x square and summation of y square. Now we have a formula to calculate correlation. So this is the formula we are using. Now just put the values here. So n is equal to 5 here because we have taken values for 5 times. Rest we have just calculated. So this is the calculation part and the result that is R is equal to 0.46. That means correlation is moderately positive. Because we know if R is less than 1, it is moderately positive. <laughs>